Howdy Crossroads, I'm Sports Director Gino Perez with your 25 Sports Now. This weekend I had the privilege of covering Warriors Weekend in Port O'Connor where Purple Heart veterans from all around the United States gathered to participate in a fishing tournament. For 16 years, Warriors Weekend has been assisting combat wounded veterans with a relaxing water therapy weekend. This year I was on a boat with retired Staff Sergeant of the U.S. Army Shiloh Harris, his wife Jamie P.K. Harris, Captain Rainier Brigham and Quail Creek Volunteer Fire Department Chief Ron Kramer. In 2007, while deployed in Iraq, Shiloh and his team drove over and hit an IED, which is a dangerous homemade bomb. To make matters worse, a highly explosive warhead went off in the vehicle he was in, creating a tornado of fire around him. Shiloh was able to escape the flames and survive, but his body as he knew it was unrecognizable. Shiloh says he has been a part of Warriors Weekend since he walked out of the hospital. We sacrificed a lot to make sure that our country's safe, make sure that our constitution's upheld, make sure that our children are gonna to get to enjoy those same freedoms and liberties. We try to instill patriotism in here. When you come to events like this, that's what you see is patriotism. You really get to experience the outdoors and just experience what America's all about. While on the water, Shiloh had an amazing day. He and his wife caught eight fish. One redfish was 27 inches long. He even caught an alligator guard that we had to cut loose and two sharks that got away because the lines busted. I was fortunate enough to catch a triple tail along with hardhead catfish, which we had to release because they were too small to take home. Shiloh is thankful for events like this because it reminds him of why he joined the military in the first place. By the end of the tournament, Shiloh and his team brought home two awards, one for most spots on a redfish with six and another for catching the most pounds of redfish. Wife and caregiver to Shiloh, Jamie P.K. Harris, says she is proud of how far Shiloh has come and her job as caregiver is to support him and push him a little further each day. She is also thankful for events like these that give veterans a break from their day-to-day -day lives. All you can say is thank you and thank you for the break that we get from the challenges we live with. It's about being able to sit around and talk and laugh and joke and fish. So. To those sponsors, thank you for giving us 24 hours, 48 hours of just living and surviving and appreciating the struggles that we do go through. And not only did I have a blast fishing and hanging out with some amazing people, but I also learned a little bit more about life. This weekend made me realize how much a weekend out on the water can help the people who sacrificed so much for us. Shiloh gave me a copy of his book titled Steel Wheel, which is about his journey to the man he was meant to be. I'd like to say thank you to all the veterans out there with scars that we can't see and to the families of those soldiers who never came home. Don, back to you.